show we have for you today. You're gonna learn about Gabriel's Corner, which is in Council Bluff, Iowa. We got to go down there and hang out with the amazing people who run this amazing facility. And it is actually across the street from Planned Parenthood. It is a positive alternative to Planned Parenthood. So they don't perform abortions. They encourage other options like adoption or keeping your baby and they help make that possible for you. I mean, from the very first time you walk through the door, you feel love and you feel compassion. It's just like you're at home. And for these young women who are faced maybe with an unexpected pregnancy and they don't know what to do, Gabriel's Corner, they help them every step of the way. And it doesn't even stop once the baby comes. They offer amazing resources for these young ladies. So, I mean, from the time that you've conceived to the time of birth and until th the children are three years old, they offer services, resources. I mean, they even have this amazing closet full of diapers, baby clothes. I mean, pretty much anything you could imagine. And you know what? They get to ha get that for free. So as you're watching, you know, listen to all the resources they have. So enjoy our visit to Gabriel's Corner. Let's go. And I looked at my wife, she looked at me, and we were had the same thought. And the Holy Spirit really said to me in that silent voice, you know, you said you wanted to do something. <laughs> so I said, whoa, I didn't think of that. When the building finally got approved, it was nine months to the day. And, and that date was not sought by us. They simply mailed it to us. And when Gene looked at it, he about dropped over because it was nine months to the day. We've been here for 10 last years and we offer free pregnancy tests to the young mothers, free ultrasounds, a lot of love and counseling, especially if they indicate that they're interested in having an abortion. There's three of us that do it. Uh, we take turns doing the ultrasounds and the ones watching and stuff. There it is, there it is. <laughs> Gabriel's Corner was founded by Jean and Kathy Plord. They opened their doors on March 25th, 2006, and ever since then, Jean and Kathy, along with a whole host of incredible volunteers, have helped hundreds, if not thousands, of women choose life. We're located, of course, right across the street from the abortion center, so I built, we built it here, so the women get an, a visible alternative to what's across the street, and uh, so they, you know, in the end, God gives us a choice, it's their choice, mm -hmm. but everything is free, so we don't, uh, there's no pressure, the, come. We're not a business that relies on our clients to survive, you know, because uh, we don't take any, any financial uh, 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 money from them. The mission was simple. Help as many women as possible for as long as possible. And maybe along the way, be a part of the movement that changed the course of abortion forever. The numbers of abortion centers are going down. When we first opened our door, there's, there was, I believe, 23 centers here in, a, in the state. That's down to a, about 12. Mm. And uh, they've uh, at times looked at, you know, building new uh, abortion centers, but those communities have resisted it. So we're down to, they're down to 12, and we're 55 or 56, I can remember, in, a, in, a, in that vicinity of numbers of pregnancy counseling centers in the state. Dennis Shea has been a part of Gabriel's Corner's mission from the beginning. And while he knew it would change lives, he never imagined that it would change his. And I was sitting there one day in that front room and I was looking across the street at Planned Parenthood and I was thinking, and it was a prayer basically, Lord, what am I doing here? I'm all done with everything. You know, what am I doing here? God worked on me. And it brought me deeper in my own personal faith as well. It was a total turnaround in my faith. Before I was more like a check off the box, go to Sunday uh, person, but it's different now. All the services at Gabriel's Corner are provided for free to the mothers. The ultrasound technicians and counselors donate their time. People donate things like diapers, bottles, formula, clothes, and for the bigger items, like cribs and strollers that may not be donated, 
Jean and Kathy go out and purchase them themselves and give them to the moms at no charge. And that is the Christ-centered mission of Gabriel's Corner. I mean, we do get girls that tend to have an abortion. Mm -hmm. And that, that is our main purpose, mm -hmm. is to keep them from having an abortion. And we show them the baby. I mean, we get all excited about it. And I don't know if that helps, too. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, to realize too. that there is like something there. Life. Yes, there is life there. It is not just a blob of tissue. Evil, <laughs> that's not the only way to put it. Mm -hmm. Evil is just penetrating the world, and the United States is not exempt from that. And uh, we in the pro-life community are, have to resist and continue to work with people to make, educate them. You know, people need to be educated. We spend a lot more time with those that are thinking of abortion and we give them all the options. An adoption right now is an amazing option. So there are, we have so many friends and clients that cannot have babies, you know, and it, it's just such a blessing. It's hard, it's difficult for mother sometimes to think about giving up her child, but we encourage it. This is always just an emotional is very emotional so we just encourage them to come and if, if you know love at all we are asking you to give love to our mothers and to our babies we my volunteers totally enjoy when the mothers come in to go to the back shopping and so on that we get to babysit the time we spend with these little ones you know you understand how can someone give up their baby you know or have an abortion or so, but we have, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gone, I can't. Life comes in all shapes and sizes. It comes as babies, but then they grow up. They become friends and family. They become a part of society. And some of them, no, all of them, change the world in one way or another. That's why Gabriel's Corner is here, to give mothers free diapers once a week, 10 outfits per child every month, ultrasounds and pregnancy tests. They're doing their part to ensure that those little world changers are seen as exactly what they are, a life that deserves to be lived. Wasn't that an exciting visit to Gabriel's Corner? We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. I know my very favorite part was the ultrasound room. I mean, I could tell love in the whole building, but when I walked in that room and the nurse was talking about, you know, what goes on, I just, I was excited. Actually, the hairs were standing up on my arm because it was just like, this is where they see life for the first time. Life's at conception, but sometimes it doesn't, it's not real to you until you actually see it. So that was pretty exciting. I think that was like one of my favorite parts if I have to pick one. My favorite part was seeing how close they were to Planned Parenthood and realizing that was strategic for them. So people, as they're driving down the street, you can see this kind of a lifeless place on one side of the road and then this place that's full of life on the other side of the road. And you can distinctly see your options and hopefully they want to lean more toward the nice option than the other option. Well, I mean, just to interject there, it is. I mean, Planned Parenthood has a fence around it. It looks all sterile and cold and very unwelcoming. Where Gabriel's Corner is this adorable house with trees and flowers and the squirrels are just so <laughs> active around there. So, I mean, it's just welcoming, inviting. I mean, from the very moment you look at it, you know, hey, this is a really cool place. So... You guys got to go to their website, check it out. Um, if you're a young lady who is watching this and is maybe experienced an unexpected pregnancy or just facing some difficult choices, you know, call them. They'll be glad to help you. Even if you're not in Council Bluff, Iowa, Catherine has resources all across the country and she will help you into getting to where you need to go. And so again, we hope you've enjoyed the visit with Gabriel's Corner as much as we did. It was just a joy to see them. So go to their website and check it out.